Hey, what's going on guys? This is Dean Liss, and today I'm going to be going over the Nightfall for this week, Inverted Spire. In my opinion, this Nightfall is significantly easier than the last one, so anyone who hasn't completed the Rat King challenge yet, this is the perfect opportunity to do so. There's also a lot of parts in this Nightfall that you can just skip, so I'm going to cover that in this guide. I'm also going to provide you with a few more tips about the weapons and classes that you should choose to complete this mission. If you like this video, please leave a like and a comment letting me know. Also, subscribe to my channel for daily Destiny content and news. I'm relatively new to the Destiny community, but I'm going to try to post daily content moving forward. Without further ado, let's get into this video. So as I was saying before, the Inverted Spire Nightfall is much easier than the Armsteel Nightfall from last week. The Prism Modifier makes a return, as it will constantly rotate between Arc, Solar, and Void, giving players a boost to their elemental burn damage. Keep in mind that if you're using an element opposite to the one that's selected, your damage is going to be reduced. So that's your class grenades, that's your class melee ability, and any weapons that you're using. Time Warp is a new feature added to the Nightfall this week. Instead of killing enemies, players will need to jump through Vex rings to boost their time. For every ring you or a teammate jumps through, you'll earn an extra 30 seconds on your Nightfall timer. Also, make sure your kit contains one of each element weapon so you can easily switch throughout the Nightfall. If you don't have good weapons of different element types, then try to make sure that you and your fire team have different elemental subclasses. As for the Nightfall itself, you're going to only want to fight when it's absolutely necessary. So skip all the enemies until you reach the cliff, and then take out the Vex forces that appear there. Once you clear out the Cabal and Vex, activate the Conflux and jump across the platforms that appear. If you're playing Hunter, I would suggest grabbing Triple Jump for this Nightfall. It makes it a lot easier to jump through the Vex portals that appear. Once you reach the other side, you can actually skip the Cabal enemies that appear and jump through the next set of portals. The Hunter Night Stalker class is perfect for this as you can simply cloak yourself and your allies to avoid detection. Once you enter the cave, jump through the portals to give yourself extra time and eliminate all of the Vex enemies. Make sure you're paying attention to the selected element type. Since I had Merciless whenever it was on Solar, that's when I would focus the mini bosses and burn them down really quickly. Once you make it out of the cave, you can skip the Vex enemies that appear on the left. Just run straight by them. Then get on your Sparrow and go across the large battlefield, skipping those enemies as well. Once you get to the portal, jump through it for extra time and eliminate the drill security officers. They're going to be inside the Cabal Command Center. After taking them out, board the Cabal Drill by jumping through the air vent. Try to save an ultimate or grenade for the dogs. They can definitely take you out pretty quickly if you're not being careful. After clearing out this room, jump through another air vent and cross the dig site. You can actually skip the enemies in the first part of this as well. Once you solve the jumping puzzle, you're going to reach the final room with the boss. If you struggle with this puzzle, if one of your teammates makes it to the other side, you'll join your allies, as I found out. Now, the boss fight is actually quite simple. If you have a high DPS weapon like Merciless and use that to burst the boss down, he has a lot of health, especially in comparison to the previous Nightfall mission, but it's nothing too crazy. My fire team and I, we made a lot of mistakes the first time we did this, but we were still able to complete the Nightfall with almost 3 minutes to spare. This makes this the perfect Nightfall to complete the Rat King exotic quest. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like and a comment down below. The raid was just released um, yesterday, so I'm going to be playing that tonight, hopefully, and I can beat it. Once I'm able to determine some really good strategies and tactics to beat the raid, I'll post a video on my channel, so stay tuned for that. If you aren't subscribed, hit that button and that bell so you can be the first person to know when I release new material. I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.